Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today we'll be reading another little golden book called Walt Disney's Detective Mickey Mouse. Detective Mickey Mouse sat in his office reading mystery stories and waiting for a case. Gee, Pluto, Mickey sighed. Maybe someday there'll be a book about me. Mickey Mouse in the case of the... Suddenly, there's a knock at the door. Mickey could see a shadow on the other side of the frosted glass. I wonder who that could be, Mickey m muttered. The door opened slowly. The visitor stepped inside. Why, you're the famous actress, Lola Lawow, Mickey exclaimed. How sweet of you to recognize me, the actress said. I've come to you because Tutu... My dear sweet poodle is missing. You must help me find her. She was seen last She was last seen at my mansion. Around breakfast time, Miss Lowell went on. Where oh where can she be? We'd better look go look for clues, Mickey said. Pluto, you stay here and guard the office. But Pluto was eager to go along and help search for Tutu. Minnie Mouse was watering her garden when she noticed a fancy car coming down the street. Why, there go Mickey and Pluto and Lola the Wow. Hmm, Minnie thought. I wonder where they're going in her big fancy car. Minnie decided to follow and see. A few blocks from the mansion, Pluto suddenly started barking and trying to jump out of the car. Pluto, sit, Mickey commanded. Ha <laughs> ha. He chuckled, turning to Miss Lowell. I don't know what's gone into him. Meanwhile, Minnie stopped to read a big sign at the side of the road. It said, Sassy Sausage Factory. Grand opening today. Hmm, those sausages smell good, Minnie said to herself. At the mansion, Mickey said, I'd better talk to all the servants. One of them may have... Dog nap Tutu, but everyone loves Tutu, Miss Lowell said. No one would. Detective Mickey Mouse is on the case, said Mickey. Bring in the first suspect. In came Peeves, the butler. The last time I saw her, he said, Tutu was right by this door, whining and scratching to go outside. But I don't have time to walk her and clean up the mud she traces all over the house. Aha, uh -huh, thought Mickey. He doesn't like cleaning up after Tutu. I bet he, the butler did it, just like in the case of the missing mongrel. Minnie was listening at the window. Hmm, she thought. Tutu must like the outdoors. Next, Mickey wanted to question the sh sh chauffeur. The beautiful actress led the way to the garage. And Mickey followed. Minnie secretly followed, too. Inside, the chauffeur complained. Walking Tutu is no picnic, he said. Whenever we pass the butcher shop or a hot dog stand, the little dog pulls at the leash till I stop and buy her a treat. This is just like the puzzle of the parked cars, Mickey decided. It wasn't the butler. The sh chauffeur dog napped Tutu because he didn't like walking her. But Minnie thought, gee, Tutu must really like meat. You can see the cook next, said Miss Lowell. This way to the kitchen. The cook told M Mickey that she was tired of preparing fancy dishes for Tutu. All she ever wants are the sausages on Madame's breakfast tray. The cook sighed. Tutu almost knocked me down this morning jumping for Madame's sausages. I had to carry the tray way up over my head. In Mystery of the Merry Mouse, the cook committed the crime, Mickey thought. Maybe that's the answer, Minnie thought quickly. Tutu was crazy about sausages, and she didn't get any this morning. Oh, this is too much for me, Miss Lowell said, dabbling her eyes with her handkerchief. I must rest now. I trust you to find the gardener yourself. She turned and went upstairs. Mickey walked out the door into the garden. 
Hey, watch out, the gardener shouted. That's just what the little dog did, trampling all over my beautiful flowers. So Mickey thought, the gardener is angry at Tutu too. They're all in this together. It's just like my favorite story, Case of the Cookie Kidnappers. Just then, Pluto sniffed the air excitedly and bolted off through the flower bed. Not again, the gardener moaned. Pluto, Pluto, come back, Mickey called after the disappearing dog. Where is he running off to? Now I've got two dogs to look for. I bet I know where to find both dogs, Minnie said, popping up from behind a bush. Minnie, what are you doing here? Mickey asked, solving the case. Minnie replied, someone has to, while wow, you're busy flirting with that actress. Oh, Minnie, you know you're the only girl for me, Mickey said. Minnie smiled and grabbed M M Mickey's hand. Okay, let's go find those dogs. If I'm right, Minnie began, this small set of paw prints belong to Tutu, and these larger ones are Pluto's. Minnie and Mickey followed the trail. Soon, Minnie sniffed the air. Aha, she said, sausages. They saw before them new sassy sausage factory. A big crowd was gathered for the grand opening. Suddenly, everyone burst into applause. Mickey, Minnie and Mickey ran to see what excitement was all about. Why, it's Pluto, Mickey exclaimed proudly. That must be Tutu, Minnie shouted gleefully. The two dogs were doing funny tricks. At the man, and the manager of the factory rewarded them with French plump sausages. Mickey telephoned Miss Lawal. Your worries are over, he told her. We found Tutu. After a big sausage lunch, Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto went back to the office to wait for another case. Now they want Tutu to be in television commercials for Sassy Sausages. Minnie said, she'll be a star too. I'm glad Tutu found a job, but I couldn't have found Tutu without you two. Mickey told his friends as he repainted the office door. The end. Thanks for spending your time with us with another Golden Book Read. Um, we just want to say thank you, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay tuned for our next book read. Bye. Bye.